All right, ladies and gentlemen, late afternoon. What a glorious day it is. We are now in uh, a part of Donellan. We're actually in Rainbow Lake Estates uh, right here, ladies and gentlemen. And this is lot 38, block 3. It is a very deep lot. You have your utilities here, paved road, 70 foot on the pavement right here but the lot goes back 150 foot half a football field a lot of trails and it's mainly pine trees that you'll see right here some good firewood maybe some log cabin building or whatever but the lot is running right here and there's a major trail right here all the way down to the van you'll see the auction sign down there out of the easement and your lot actually doesn't begin till about right here and there's a survey flag and somewhere there's a piece of rebar under here so we're going to take you all through it and all around the neighborhood all right ladies and gentlemen we're going to start on the west side of the lot and we'll work in and out and around and bring you back but you'll see some small oak trees in here mainly it's going to be some older mature growth of southern pine trees that we have here some of them are going to be 50 feet tall and there's some laying down but you have a trail goes off that way picnic area over there another trail goes off this way uh, fairly level ground but uh, it has a slight very slight maybe three degrees drop off going that way so you don't have to worry about water holding on this lot it's going to go back <laughs> everybody's so friendly around here too that was the neighbors we just talked to uh, they have the corner down here so they're interested in the lot too <laughs> everybody's waving uh, after work everybody's getting off work driving home but uh, we're Come along for a nice little walk through the woods here. Again, a quarter acre, just about 10,500 square feet, not counting your easement. 70 feet wide by 170, 150 foot deep. And mainly pine trees, you can see a slight incline. I'm gonna say it's probably around three degrees. So it'll, you won't have any flooding on this lot. Sometimes if you have a dip in your lot or if it's real flat and you get a lot of rain in the late summer, it does get mushy. Another trail goes off through the center and that might even be the center over there. But I wanna keep taking you down the west side of the lot. We're heading to the north. Lots of pine trees, some shrub oak. Oh, that's a, uh, that's a nice northern tree right there. Looks like a bunny trail. All right, folks, now we're still coming to the north on the west side of the lot, uh, just past the halfway marker. And you can see it's opened up and probably was a forest fire here 20, 30 years ago by the look of these trees. But mature pine trees, but wooded and little clearings. Easy enough to walk through, don't have to have a machete or anything. And that this part of Florida is very good for that. Uh, like you get down another hundred and some miles south, if you like the swampy, muddy stuff, we have those lots coming up for you too. But this is the woodland lots, the temperate zone, and we're living it and loving it. Yeah, I can see all the way over there. Nice building location there. Good building location there if you want to be in the middle of the lot. But we're heading still back to the very back, the northwest corner. All right. Ah, nice. And actually, that's a nice little oak tree there. Uh, there you got money and lumber 
and trees on this. If you go to the nursery, these little oak trees that they make you put in when you're building a new house, 100 bucks to one like that right there, 200 bucks. Of course, it comes with five gallons of dirt. And so now we're at the northwest corner of the lot. See a flag up there, see some tape down there, so there's a little piece of rebar somewhere in that area. So now the lot's going to go 70 feet that direction over there. So hope you're enjoying it. Great views, great weather, great place. We'll see you. All right, now halfway across the back here, heading back to the east on the north end of the lot. Now there is another street back there, another 150 feet. I can barely make the outline, but I see some houses. More power back there. So another 35 to 40 feet. And I don't see it, it's somewhere over here. So we're close to the middle. And uh, tree fell down here. Old pine tree, could have been from the hurricane a couple of years ago, but it was probably already dead from a fire in here 20, 30 years ago. So a little tougher walking at this spot, but the tree fell right on a trail. You see the trail, Sam? Oh, now I see it, yeah, we're right on the trail. I see the tree with the other marker on it. So, be careful walking in these trees, folks, if you come back here and explore it. But uh, a lot of firewood right there. All right, folks, we got over the dead tree there. Now the walking's a lot easier, but it is thicker growth here at the north end of the lot, the back of your lot but lots of little trails running throughout here. Now you'll see the tree that they have staked right there, so the marker is gonna be right over there. And if we look, we can see you have a neighbor caddy corner. You might be able to see the house and the fence through the woods there. Well, I don't know if you heard the loud motorcycle go by, but Usually we don't have those, it's very peaceful up here. And uh, someone's got a trail there, you can see the other road that's about 150 feet. Might just barely be able to see it. That's the lot to the north of you. Now, this will be the first time that we've actually been to this lot. Oh, there's a tropical tree right there. That's one of those uh, kiwi trees, or the kichi. I don't see any fruit on it yet. Uh, but we're gonna head back and show you the interior of the lot now. All right, folks, now kind of coming up on the east border of your lot, going through a few vines, but all in all, pretty easy to get around. Now getting close to the middle of your lot, which is going to run 70 feet that direction, 75 feet back that way, and 75 feet back to the easement. And I'm seeing a good building location right over there. Still has some shade trees. You'd have a lot of privacy. Because think about it, 10,500 square feet. If you put up a 1,000 square foot home, you'd be using less than 10% of your land. Well, we'll just keep going through here. Again, some of those nice oak trees. That's a li young live oak right there. That's a nice one. So you'd be able to do a lot of landscaping projections and clear what you want. All right, folks, now this is probably as close to the center as we can get to show you the center of the lot. Again, plenty of trees, mainly your pine trees, and a bunch of dead ones. So, firewood, 
log cabin, lumber. Yeah, you have a, a good amount of trees in here. If you love the trees, this is a good one. So we'll just keep zigzagging around. I can see the road, but I can't see the van yet. But it's going to be over there. So we'll just make another little zigzag. Oh, nice little trail. Yeah, good building spot there, good building spot here. Gorgeous weather. We've actually had a very, very mild winter. Now we're about three quarters of the way back up to the front of the lot. So I would probably, if this was going to be where I was going to build, I'd probably clear from here back. I'd leave 20, 30 foot privacy border of those great trees you have there. Nice shade. If you take this out, put the house back there 50 feet, you could still have your solar power. So a very nice lot. Great area. The Gulf of Mexico, all the, the famous spots. We'll be showing you more on the the maps back in the studio. All right, now coming the last quarter of the way up through here. We should be close to the middle, to the middle to the east side. Yeah, there's the van. Beautiful, gorgeous. Own a piece of the dream for low money, folks. Here we are, gorgeous neighborhood. Gorgeous area, everything you could probably want. Again, this was a uh, lot three, a uh, lot 38, a block three. Wow, we're gonna take you for a little drive around the neighborhood and check it out. Nice. <laughs>